This is the Swift. Finally, the missing link between hang glider and sailplane. The Swift is a revolutionary new aircraft that's classified as a hang glider because it's foot launched, but that's pretty much where the resemblance ends. Combining the fun and versatility of a hang glider with the performance and comfort of a sailplane, the Swift offers the ability to foot launch and soar cross country with greater confidence than ever before. The Swift is the culmination of over six years of design and development by renowned aeronautical engineers Alain Crow and Stephen Morris at Stanford University and the team of Brian Robbins and Eric Beckman of Bright Star Gliders. Rigorous testing of three full-size prototypes and several radio-controlled models as well as thousands of hours of computer analysis have gone into creating the Swift. Large inboard flaps trim the glider during launch and landing. Elevons control pitch and roll, and Vortilons add greater stability during slow flight. Yaw stability is provided by large winglets, which also increase the effective span and aspect ratio of the wing. Built for ruggedness and reliability, the Swift is a composite flying wing, primarily made up of a foam core surrounded by nearly indestructible aerospace Kevlar with carbon fiber reinforcements. Aircraft aluminum, chromoly steel, and aviation hardware finish out the structure. The Swift is manufactured to rigid specifications and exacting tolerances, and each aircraft is factory test flown before delivery. Extensive vehicle testing has demonstrated the Swift's excellent pitch stability through all angles of attack, and the wing has been successfully static load tested to 9 Gs. Procedures are currently underway to seek HGMA glider certification. The Swift comes ready to fly and is available with a car top transportation box that carries everything except the optional pilot fairing. Setup is simple and can be done by a single person. But as with any glider, help is always handy. The procedure begins with the hang cage and your instruments. The spar and the ballistic parachute included with each swift. Next, the wings slide onto the spar and are pinned into place. Once the controls are hooked up at the hang cage, the control surfaces can be flipped over and pinned to the control rod ends. Then the Vortilons, winglets, and tip fairings are attached. Last, but certainly not least, is the preflight. The Swift is easy to fly. But like any aircraft, it takes some getting used to before reactions become second nature. Even pilots with experience in conventional sailplanes or flex-wing hang gliders complete a basic training program that's included in the purchase price of each Swift. Pilots begin with runs and flights from the training hill, utilizing the optional training gear for safety. Once the basic controls have been mastered, pilots move on to high-altitude flight. The Swift has excellent static balance, with the wing being supported by shoulder straps, which leave the pilot's hands free to operate the stick and flaps. 
clear. Foot launching the Swift is in some ways easier than a conventional flex wing glider because the control surfaces provide better pitch and roll authority any time the wind is greater than three or four miles an hour. Launch assistance is generally not required except in very turbulent launch areas. In winds from zero to four miles an hour, the Swift must be launched aggressively with the flaps set at 20 degrees. During the first few steps of the run, the control stick is held slightly forward to get the wing tips up and then is eased back as the wing approaches flying speed. The Swift has been launched without any problems in a wide variety of conditions. From sea level at the beach to over 9,000 feet at Horseshoe Meadows in the Owens Valley and from calm wind to over 30 knots at takeoff. Whether on your feet or on the wheel, the Swift lands smoothly and easily. As with any high-performance flex wing, landing the Swift on the pilot's feet is easiest when the surface winds are greater than three or four miles an hour. In conditions of calm wind or high-density altitude, some pilots prefer the option of landing on the wheel. The Swift's large flaps can be deployed to 45 degrees, enabling slow landing speeds and very effective glide slope control. When it comes to soaring, the Swift is in a class of its own. Its sink rate performance is considerably better than the best hang gliders and is very close to that achieved by competition sailplanes. And like sailplanes, the Swift is less physically demanding to fly than flex wing gliders. When ridge soaring, the performance advantages of the Swift over flex wings are clearly obvious at all speeds. And the Swift maintains its better sink rate even at speeds greater than 40 miles an hour. And not only does the Swift climb higher than flex wings, but it easily crosses gaps in the ridge that stop the flex wings in their tracks. In thermals, the Swift outperforms both hang gliders with their higher sink rate and sailplanes with their wider turning radius. You can fly cross country on more days in the Swift because it can land in smaller fields and at slower speeds than sailplanes, and because it glides twice as far as hang gliders between thermals. The Swift. There's nothing else like it. The only wing in the world to combine sailplane and hang glider into one package, offering performance versatility and pure soaring excitement.